This 4th of July, we honor the memory of our founding father, Frederick Douglass, who taught us to question the laws of American independence. And we're here today to say that black lives matter. So when we say defund the police, what we're saying is that monies that and duties that normally go to law enforcement, they need to go toward other entities, other agencies that would enforce the things that law enforcement officers have no business enforcing. We are creating a listserv so we can keep folks updated because one thing that they we know they respect, they respect people power, like what we're seeing out here, yeah. and they respect any threat to their fucking jobs. It's no secret, you cannot deny the fact that the origins of the modern police force right. are rooted in the system of slavery. Yeah. Yeah. And until we take action to undo many of these legal burdens that ratify and legalize the brutality, then we will never be free of these remaining ghosts of slavery. One of these main principles that we must get rid of is the doctrine of qualified immunity. On May 30th, there is a 24-year-old man, his name is John Sanders, walking down the street away from the protest, minding his own business. A deputy, a sheriff's deputy, popped up outside of one of those broken windows and shot him in the face. This cop sat there for 20 minutes thinking about what he had just done, seeing this man uh, leaving, and then he shot two more people. And he did the same thing, aiming for their face. The county has done everything they could to cover this case up. Uh, what we know is that stories coming to light in pictures and recording a uh, video these are the things that are putting cases and bringing justice to this movement we do a thing where we cook hot dogs and give them out in the projects they took the grills out this park so a starving family couldn't even feed themselves. you know it's little things like that i don't want to go on too long because i'm hot i've been out here all day <laughs> so when i say how y'all feel y'all say powerful because y'all are powerful as an individual and as a group how y'all feel powerful. how y'all feel powerful. No justice, no peace. Defund the police. No justice, no peace. Defund the police. No justice, no peace. Defund the police. No justice, no peace. On the streets. We wanted to show y'all how scary the 4th District Police Department is. How they barricaded their police station, thinking that we was gonna come up here and vandalize their police department, which is our public property. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? That property belongs to us, correct? that are going on around the city being put up by people that are not in alliance with us. Y'all love the hashtag, but y'all don't love the movement. These are our streets. Whose streets? Whose streets? Whose streets? Y'all like the mural? It's cute, ain't it? Without any legislative changes to policies and practices, this gesture, again, does nothing for the families impacted and marginalized in our community. 
There are names that are not present within this Black Lives Matter mural. There are faces that are not present within this Black Lives Matter mural. Like we said, it's cute, but it, it's meaningless to us when we're looking for accountability, when we're looking for legislative changes. You know, this is what we call insufficient. I need each one of you, especially our white allies, when you see your family members, when you see your friends and loved ones engaged in cop worship, you must remind them that this country was founded on rebellion. This nation was founded on the principle that no man, whether he be a king or a cop, is above the law. And if you truly are a patriot, if you truly love liberty, and you truly love freedom, then we must defund the police. As I said, this is a classic example of what city politicians do. They paint shit on the street, they'll throw a party, and they'll make resolutions, non-binding resolutions, empty promises, but the tangible things that they do are only the things that affect their jobs and that affect businesses in Cleveland. They do not care about the people, so it's time for us to get some people in those seats that care about the people of Cleveland. Don't vote for Matt Zone because he did good on Gordon Square. Vote against Matt Zone because he did bad for Cleveland residents. Matt Zone made it a point to take out some very, very comprehensive wording that would have ensured the representation of the most marginalized people when it came to the folks that were overseeing police misconduct. Matt Zone is bad for the city. Kevin Kelly, bad for the city. Those are some of your West Side council people and folks are looking at the neighborhood and saying, well, our neighborhood's better than what's over on the east side, so they're obviously doing a good job. Well, I'm here to tell you the reason that the east side is the way it is is because of lack of cooperation from motherfuckers like that. I just, I can't say it enough. I need y'all to show up, folks, because uh, this ain't a moment, this is a movement, and this shit's gonna keep going. I love y'all. Get ready to move on, move on and head back to the park. Black lives, Black lives.